mortgage rates are too, we've had a good recovery in the housing market. How much of a risk now do we see in the second half? Well, that's a great question. I think to answer it, requires taking a step back and thinking of this in, a, in terms of more of a historical perspective. If you think about the average mortgage rates since 1971, they've been roughly a little over 8.6 percent. Uh, we actually hit our highest level in 1981 at over 18, well over 18 percent. So while mortgage rates have certainly ticked up and they're well over 4 percent at this point, we don't anticipate a huge issue until we see rates go up significantly more. If you think about it, if rates go up 50 basis points more, homes are still affordable. Actually, we like to look at this housing affordability index, mm -hmm. which is really a combination of home prices, mortgage rates, and average employee wages. And what that tells us is that today we're roughly about three standard deviations away from the average in terms of housing affordability. So there's still a lot of reasons why people want, will want to buy houses. And I think just looking at the most recent mortgage applications gives some sense of that. We've seen a big drop off in refis, right. but we haven't seen as significant a drop off in home purchases. What happens when and if the Fed stops buying mortgage-backed securities? That's a great question, right? So all of this has been uh, flamed by taper talk, the idea that QE will come to an end or at least significantly taper off or dial, dial down, so to speak. And what, what we're not sure of is exactly what the Fed will do because they've not only been quantitatively easing, they've been qualitatively easing. It hasn't just been about treasuries, they've also been buying mortgage-backed securities, which is why mortgage rates have been so attractive. And so you'll see comments from figures like Eric Rosengren, New York, uh, excuse me, Boston Fed President, who's argued that when the Fed does taper, just taper government securities, not mortgage-backed mm -hmm. securities, because mortgage-backed securities are so critical to mortgage rates and to this housing recovery. So the question becomes what the Fed will decide to do. And hopefully they will listen to his counsel and focus more on tapering back the government security purchases as opposed to the MBS purchases.